Takata pleaded guilty today to fraud. Uh, it brings an end to uh, a case involving defective inflators and airbags. Uh, these things go off in cars, send out shrapnel. More than a dozen people have died, uh, hundreds injured. Uh, Takata's going to pay a billion dollars, one billion dollars. Most of that will go to the car companies that bought these airbags and these inflators. Uh, 125 million will go to victims who have been hurt or their families if they died. Takata was represented by its chief financial officer. He came over from Tokyo. But you apologize to the victims? Yes, families? of course. He uh, answered uh, a series of yes and no questions. But at the end, he uh, made a statement to the judge. He said the company's behavior was uh, completely unacceptable. He apologized for what happened, and the judge accepted it, accepted the guilty plea, and ordered the $1 billion fines and restitution. It could have been bigger. The judge wrestled with whether to order a larger fine, but it would have put Takata out of business and no victim would have been paid, there would have been no compensation.